summer vacation has come to a close and it's back to school for Irving students. I'm going to second grade. Families in need are getting prepared here at Irving High School. The long line pales in comparison to what these kids are receiving. We're so happy to be able to help them out. We're getting backpacks, folders, and other things for school. The event is called Supplies for Success, a citywide effort to give back. What you see behind me is we have certain backpacks that have elementary school supplies in them. We have middle school backpacks with appropriate supplies for them up to high school. It starts with citizen donations, then comes together with the help of many players, from city departments to local businesses, including employees from Chase Bank who stuff the backpacks. It's about a two-week process um, where it's literally manual labor for about eight hours every day for about two weeks. It's a lot of work, but we love doing it. The goal is to help alleviate some of the stress that low-income families may face during this time of year. We know that they work hard and we know that they want to provide for their kids and this is just a way that we can help them do that. The Irving Fire Department collected all of the backpack and school supplies donations and with the help of hundreds of volunteers, thousands of Irving children are now going to be set up for success on their first day of school. It's just, it really helps out a lot of families in the community who, you know, can't really afford backpacks and school supplies. Well, I'm so grateful that um, God has used the program to help us, you know, and to help people that need help. Parents give thanks for this program, which is offering not only school supplies, but also many other resources. We checked out the dentist, the vision, everything that they had, you know, to offer us today. So they come in and, um, and the hygienists are able to give them a, a quick dental checkup. The Children's Dental Center of Irving gave kids a free dental checkup in hygiene education. And for eye health, the Irving Noonday Lions offered free vision screenings. So we're getting a general idea of whether or not they're going to need um, the school nurse to double check their vision. Numerous vendors also set up in the cafeteria for families to explore. Everyone from hospitals to local food stores who are available just to help tell the families about the services available to them in the community. Volunteers are working hard to pay it forward and give back to the community. Well, I know that a lot of people can't afford the backpacks and the school supplies, so I figured that it would be great for me to help people get ready for school. They say it is rewarding and priceless to see how happy the kids are to see their new backpack. There is nothing better than seeing a little boy grab a car's backpack and go, oh, that's so awesome, or a little girl with Hello Kitty. Seeing the, the smiles on the people's faces that don't really get to have what I get to have, it's really nice to know that I'm making a difference in the community. Each Supplies for Success contributor has done its part to make this year's program come to life and help nearly 3,500 kids. These communities are just kind of coming out of the woodwork to help this, thing, this project because they want to do something that's bigger than themselves. We want to make sure they feel just like every other student and that they got the things they need to be successful. Hopefully now, when school is in session, parents can breathe a sigh of relief. And I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. And kids can feel armed with the supplies they need for a successful school year. Ashley Roberts for City Source.